to, a lot of people have been asking me to share my thoughts on um, the bridge, the, uh, the bridge is collapsing. So I'm going to do that. I did wait because there's, you know, as soon as it did, there was a lot of chatter, <laughs> you know, a lot of prophetic chatter. Um, and I, uh, I don't like getting caught up in that. I know uh, some of you all been with me from the beginning and know that I don't like uh, getting caught up in all that. Um, and I wanted to make sure, you know, and, and, and let God speak to me and, you know, let things seek in. So I, I do. And I, plus this microphone here, <laughs> I am trying to hook it up. I had to get a, a, a laptop, which, um, I haven't had a laptop in like 13 years. Uh, but I did have to get one for, uh, various things, uh, podcasts and things that we're doing. And then also, um, some books that I'm writing. So I did have to do that. So um, I was testing it out tonight and I hope you all can see me and hear me okay. And my little Amazon find here. Um, I did get this and I hope hope you all can hear me. There were some people when I did my uh, lives on or my videos on my phone that they really couldn't hear me. So I hope that you all can hear me okay. Um, so I want to share with you about uh, what I thought about it. Because there's several people asking. Um, I don't watch the news, <laughs> to be honest. I don't. I haven't for really for years. Um, you know, God told me. I heard him audibly uh, once. It was an illusion. So I really don't watch much of the news for me. But I woke up that morning that the bridge fell, and a uh, several people messaged me, and they said, "Did you see this on the news? Did you see this that morning?" And I was like, "No." I didn't, I, I, I didn't see it, and um, I was surprised on one end, but on the other, I, I wasn't. Um, there's been a few things that, several things, you know, that God has shown me. Now, I didn't put on Facebook or YouTube when, um, you know, I had the dreams and things of shutting my windows. I had like two or three dreams of those before COVID came. And I wasn't really on YouTube then. I really didn't, you know, didn't have the courage even to release these things. Listen, guys, I'm just a country girl from Kentucky. I know many people saying, are you from, I'm from Kentucky. And, um, you know, it took me a long time to build up my confidence, you know, to, to release the things that God sh has shown me. Um, and, you know, the encounters and things that I've had with him. But um, I want to share with you, that's not the first time. Um, as far as being now, if you go back to um, my through my videos on October seventh, the twenty one, uh, one of the videos is they are coming for Trump. Now, before some of you all go off, <laughs> I'm not into politics. I'm not into any of that. Like I said, I don't watch the news or really TV. I just try to keep my ears open to what God's saying here or there, you know, whatever. But um, I did release. Um, October 7th, 21, it's called, uh, they are coming for Trump. And I saw in a dream about him, about, um, the, uh, the feds coming in his home. I, I remember there was a paper they were going through and, and he was sitting there at his desk and they took his laptop and you know, confiscating things. And I saw the feds in the black suits standing there. And so I released that then. And then I think, um, I wrote down here August 8th, I think it was on a Monday, in 2022, the FBI did do that. They did come and raid, so that prophecy did come to pass. Um, but the Baltimore Bridge, I, I want to show you all a picture that is close to what I've seen in my dream. When God showed me the bridge, bridge, and I saw the the huge principality or, or evil around it, um, it was it was an old time photo that I saw when He showed me that. Now, some of the photos are black and white, but this photo was, um, it's like the tan color. I, what do they call them? Sepia, sepia, whatever. But it's like the tan color. And so I got on to, um, I was thinking today, just today, I thought, I wonder when the uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge was made, when it was built. And it said 1972, so it was older. And I got on uh, you know, Google and started Googling the pictures and things and from the early of it. And I found a photo and this photo was actually 
basically what I saw. Um, and it is, it looks on here, you might, might look to you black and white, but on my phone, it is kind of a, uh, of the tan color because the bridge had the overlay or, you know, the, the, the built up over it. And this is what I saw. And this was uh, 1972. I hope you all can see that right there. So that's what, uh, what I saw in the, in the dream. Um, you know, the one, two, three that I heard, I was not for sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, this or that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when God see, when I see things, you know, in dreams or visions or spirit or, or you know, around people, I just see. I, sometimes I don't know. Um, sometimes, most of the time he does give me the interpretation. But you see, sometimes it's, it's not literal, it's spiritual. So, um, and this, a lot of times too, that the things that people dream, even you guys, um, are both. Uh, they'll become physical, but they're also a, a spiritual meaning to that. Um, so I wasn't for sure. I, I know some of you all said that there's been three bridges um, that have collapsed. And then some said there were others or even around the world. Um, you know, I, I, I researched those things. I saw them too. Um, the bridge, um, by, what I, by what I saw, the Francis Scott Key Bridge did fall in three, look like three pieces to me. Um, and also, when I saw in my dream the bridge uh, uh, three weeks ago, when I saw it in my dream, and the people looking up, it was sparks in the sky. And I didn't know if it was um, stars or if it was like sparks, like fireworks. So, And it was very fascinating to find out that Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner that was, you know, bursting in air so it that was very uh that was amazing to find that out, out about him and what struck me to be honest um it was three weeks to the day that i had the dream and released it on here uh, i see bridges collapsing it was three weeks to the day that i released it that you know the francis scott key did, bridge did collapse um the thing that that sticks out to me um is key the word key and the word key you know is to open something up you know it's a door and, and I think this is a start of something um, I think it's you know I'm just saying what I think now you guys can go back on my YouTube and, and see the things that God has been showing me I don't you know if he don't give me dates I won't I don't know <laughs> But I will tell you what I see. I will tell you what I hear from the Lord, um, you know, and, and the darkness that's coming, the things that are coming, and the things that, you know, I released about anointing your homes and to be sure, um, you know, the Bible talks about these things that, uh, you know, the wars and the stuff that are coming. And I do believe that, you know, this is a key to, um, it could be a key to the, you know, a revolution. It could be key to opening people's eyes to really what's going on in the world and in the government. It could be a key to that. And, um, I, you know, this is a key to an open a door to something. And I did hear, um, I think it was four days ago. I, re I put it on Facebook, I believe, but I did hear the Lord say when I was falling asleep, a plethora of change. Now I don't, um, I don't you I have like I said, I'm a hick from Kentucky. I don't use the word plethora. I, I may have known it, heard of it once or twice. I, I, I had to look it up and it is a, an access of change. It's a major change of, of, you know, things that are coming or to come. And, uh, it's an overflow of change and I know change is coming, you know, but if you think about the world getting dark and things getting ready to happen, you know, you can't see light until something's dark, right? You can't see it. it. I mean, you can't see it. If it's light everywhere, you don't see it. But you can't pinpoint and see light unless something is dark. And, uh, you know, God's raising up his people. Absolutely, 100%. He's raising up his people. And, uh, you know, I just want to encourage you, no matter how dark it gets or whatever else happens, whatever else, you know, he shows us. And, and 
be wary who you follow um, and also who you listen to. Let God show you. Not everybody's going to listen to me. Not everybody, you know, connects. Not everybody's going to listen to, um, you know, these other prophets or, or preachers or pastors, whatever. He will, he'll guide you. Ask him who he wants you to connect with, to listen to. And, um, you know, I appreciate your comments. Uh, some of them are comical, <laughs> to say the least. But hey, you know, um, I'm no psychic. Absolutely not. I've been called that. I absolutely not. I am not. I am just a servant of the Lord. And I want to be obedient to him. And I want to help you. and want to serve you all too. Um, I am going to release on my um, YouTube when it comes through. I did do a interview with Larry uh, Capetto. And he, um, for his channels and things, he... He, he does Voices of History uh, channel. He does YouTube, and he also does, has a radio channel with it. He's a, a producer and a composer, and he also hosts God's Underground Church. And it's a good, you know, if you guys get on there, check him out on YouTube. Uh, really, really blessed and on a man. Super, super, super man. And um, so I did. I want to give you all my, my two cents. Um, I won't release things unless God tells me. Um, he's not really shown me personally the eclipse. I mean, I haven't seen that in, you know, in, in, in anything in my dream. I have seen the darkness, which you guys can go through there and see and, and pestilence and things coming. I have seen that. Uh, but you know, we have to be careful when we release these words. Um, I don't want, you know, a lot of people release them and it's causing fear fear mongering and that's that's not what God wants to do. He just wants to, us to be prepared. You know, we have victory in him. No matter what comes our way, we have victory in Jesus. It doesn't matter. And we just have to stand on his word, stand on faith, you know, that he's going to get us through. He said, "I, you know, I will give you everything you need. I will supply all your needs, everything. Just be prepared for it. Be prepared for these things and you know, a lot of uh um people are seeing or hearing or dreaming and I have too uh several times of shelves being bare and, and this and that and uh you know those things they will come they do uh but be prepared you know your joy is in the Lord your strength is in the joy of the Lord and we have to stay in that position of that and knowing that it's okay <laughs> it's okay but you know just like I said before you know, God sets up watchmen. He does. He sets up watchmen and, and people to blow the horn and, and to warn. And to, so you all can be prepared, not caught off guard. It'll come either way, whether you believe it or not. You know, it's it's going to come. And, uh, you know, he just, he want, you know, he has his watchmen out here just preparing you. Don't be scared. You know, don't, and, and you know, I don't, I, I hate to release words. Uh, you know, there's a lot that I should have released a long time that I hold on to because I don't want to steer anybody wrong. I don't want to guide anyone wrong. I want to do it through the Lord and I want to do it right. That's why I didn't get on here right after it happened because I didn't want to get into my feelings and, and, and you know, things that, that I saw, you know, when they did before they did collapse the three weeks before the dream. I, I didn't want to do that. But, you know, I feel like, you know, people are wanting to know and that's my take on it. That's what I think. I, I, you know, I think the word key means something. I, I, I really do. I think it means something. Um, are there more to come? I, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I saw the one, two, three. I wasn't sure if it was the bridge number, um, or if it was three bridges. And some people say there have been three. Some people say there two. I mean, you know, it's up to God. I, I'm just a vessel. I, you know, if He shows me and He tells me these things, I will absolutely let you know, you know, the only thing that I have seen, um, you know, dreamt, I dreamt this two nights ago, but it wasn't the eclipse, but it was a moon, right? And I saw the moon and I looked up and this was like an encounter. I saw the moon and underneath the moon was a cross and the cross started getting closer and closer and closer. And I could feel the urgency. I could feel the, um, like he's right at the door like it was Jesus right there I mean he was right there I could feel it it's 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 hard to explain but I could feel it and I remember saying 
uh, forgive me, Father, and forgive my children. I felt that, and I felt it. And when I come up out of this um, encounter, I was in the bed, I could feel the Spirit of the Lord. It was like a thousand uh, shocks vibrating in my every cell, and I could feel it come off me, the Spirit of the Lord. And, um, you know, He is at the door, friends. He's at the door, um, and He's coming. He's coming soon. I don't know when. I'm, I'm not going to say. I don't. I don't know. Uh, there are some things that he has shown me, even, you know, with my family and things that definitely haven't come to pass and, you know, take take a little longer. But, um, you know, it's, he's God. He can do whatever he wants. He can come, go, <laughs> whatever. But, you know, it's nothing to be scared of. Praise God. Hallelujah. When he comes. Um, but that is my take on the bridge. If you all want to, like I said, I will release the interview that I had with um, Larry. And I thank you all for uh, the new subscribers and those following me. I will release what the other things uh, that God is showing me, um, you know, and he's God. He's going to be God. I let him do it. I just release what I say or what he says. And, you know, a lot of things that I do speak of is encouragement. And I want to encourage you all. And I, I love when God shows me things about people and, and, and wants to give an encouraging one. That's awesome. And, and warnings are great. You know, they they help you to get prepared. You're going to know you're going to have one up, right? <laughs> You'll have one up. And like I said, I appreciate your comments. Again, some of them are comical. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway, uh, I love you, friends. God loves you. And keep going. Keep going forward. And uh, let's unite together. And and, and let's, let's keep doing it. I'll talk to you soon.